ऑनरेबल चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया जस्टिस डी वाई चंद्रचूड़ ऑनरेबल यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स हरदीप सिंह पुरी जी ऑनरेबल जस्टिस संजय किशन कौल ऑनरेबल जजेस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट इस एक्सीलेंसी वी के सक्सेना जी लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर ऑफ दिल्ली श्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ दिल्ली ऑनरेबल चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट एस सी शर्मा जी ऑनरेबल जजेस ऑफ दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट लॉ ऑफिसर्स मोहित माथुर जी एंड इस कलीग सीनियर लॉयर्स प्रेजेंट हियर द स्टाफ ऑफ दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट एंड द अदर इन्वाइटीज प्रेजेंट हियर आई एम डिलाइटेड टू बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस वंडरफुल फंक्शन एंड ऑफ कोर्स दिस ब्यूटिफुल एस ब्लॉक बिल्डिंग इनाग्रेशन दिस इज रियली अ वेरी स्पेशल ब्लॉक एंड the facilities and the architecture which we just went through briefly i can definitely say that this is one of the most modern court buildings in our country and i must thank the architect as well as the other uh, technical team for making such a beautiful building we all know <coughs> everybody wants to work in a beautiful building and whenever we go to <clears throat> any city there are some very defining architecture or buildings when we go to supreme court of course i have not been inside the the supreme court room but i have seen the supreme court building and the chief justice chamber you feel nice you feel proud that our supreme court building is beautiful whenever i go to states i see the high court buildings some of the high court buildings in india are marvelous some of the high court buildings i have seen only in pictures yet i have yet to visit some of the high courts but i have seen in the modern time the concept of the good building has changed so you have to create many more things and add to make the building beautiful and modern so being in the national capital we expect the buildings in delhi to be good and uh, of course i am also very happy to see the lawyers chambers the lawyers chambers are very important along with the court rooms because the lawyer has to feel comfortable while discharging his duties he should not be made to struggle to conduct his duties so it is uh, such a hard warming but i'm told that <clears throat> still mohit mathur is in the waiting list <laughs> i hope he gets his room he is senior enough i'm wondering why he is not in the senior list yet but anyway the numbers of lawyers are very high in delhi high court delhi itself i think has the highest numbers of lawyers if you see in terms of ratio with the population when i went to tis hazari court last year i think justice mridul justice uh, suresh kait and i think justice uh, uh, i think rekapalli ji or maybe justice i forgot some of the judges were there i thought i was addressing a public rally this so many lawyers thousands and thousands so definitely i can understand the constraint of this space but with the support of everyone with the state government and the central government we can definitely meet up at least half of the expectations now we all know that judicial infrastructure in in our country is in a not very appreciable condition if you see in the supreme court chief justice told me that except the chief justice court room and there may be some of the senior judges the other supreme court judges court rooms are small compared to even 
some of the high court courtrooms. We need to have <coughs> the appropriate room for our judges. Now, <coughs> we have a defined role. Central government cannot do much for the high court infrastructure. As per the roles defined, it is the state government who has to bear the expenditure for the hard infrastructure. But having said that, we will always be there as a team. And along with central government support, we are doing many things under the leadership of the Supreme Court in terms of digitizing the entire court process. Today, after coming back from my tour, I had a very detailed meeting about how the e-court project should take shape. And very soon, I'm going to sit with the Chief Justice and the whole team from the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and uh, uh, the NIC team. Honorable Chief Justice is already aware of the thing because he's heading the E committee for a long time. I also have made a request to him that before he demits the chair of E committee, he should put everything in shape because for a new person to understand the concept, it takes time. And recently, in the uh, during the Constitution Day celebration, another day was devoted along with all the honorable judges of the Supreme Court and the Chief Justice as well as the E-Committee heads of the High Court. So enough deliberation was made because I clearly see that in the very near future, the Indian judiciary will go paperless. And the, and the lawyers should be prepared for that. I have already conveyed to my law officers that very soon our law officers will have to go paperless. When we talk about judicial, which is totally digital, then it will have a huge impact on the justice delivery mechanism itself. And the process itself takes so much of time. I try to analyze where is the bottleneck when we take you know, the numbers. Now it's inching towards five crore pendency. It's a matter of great concern. And I have to keep replying in the parliament and elsewhere. It's very difficult for me to really answer how to ensure that this, this figure of five crore, it's, it's about to reach five crore. I'm at the present rate. Maybe it will take another uh, couple of months to reach the uh, five crore figure which doesn't sound nice. So the process which I've identified, if we can streamline, the entire platforms need to be put into a single window system and we need to synchronize the entire system. And in one click, everything can be settled. Today, for the want of some papers, some synchronization of certain materials, it takes so much of time than the delivery of justice itself. I, today also I got a message that Madras High Court had created a record number of judgment in a single day. I think two benches did a wonderful job. This kind of reports really make me very happy, feel me excited. I feel that dependency in the high courts and the Supreme Court will come down. But the real challenge is in the lower court and the infrastructure in the lower court is the real challenge for me. And that is the responsibility of the central government and state governments together. So we have enough uh, of budgetary allocation made this year. Along with the lawyers' halls and the residential units, we have already added from this year the toilets, the, the uh, digital computer rooms, lawyers' hall. These are very important. So with the new extension of the central sponsored schemes, which we the cabinet had approved last year, we are going to see transformation in the judicial infrastructure standards in the lower courts. I have visited some of the uh, courts in the country. I'm very impressed, but some of the courts are very pathetic. I feel ashamed. Last month I was in um, Pahalgam in Kashmir. A beautiful court is under construction, well on time. So I appreciated the chief justice, the, the contractors, the officers there. Beautiful. I told the district judge that you are lucky that you will be sitting in this room overviewing the beautiful river flowing there. 
pristine forest and there is the beautiful courtroom. So we need to make the judiciary interesting. We, may make, we need to make it more, you know, people friendly. People should be able to come. There should be waiting rooms. There should be some benches. Court complex should be a place where one, feel, one should feel at ease. These are certain things I really look at from the Commonwealth, government's uh, angle that we need to make Indian judiciary attractive, the buildings beautiful, and make all the facilities available for the honorable judges and the learned advocates. This is a combined effort we will take and last uh, Chief Justice and Chief Minister's conference, we had taken certain decision with regards to creation of judicial infrastructure. Yesterday, I received the letter from the Chief Justice of Allahabad High Court nominating one of the senior judges as the representative of the High Court who will deal with the Chief Minister and the State Government to tackle the challenges of the judicial infrastructure. So I'm going to tell the Chief, uh, Chief Minister also that kindly work together and uh, create a committee as soon as possible. The E-Committee, the, uh, the, the Building Committee is already there. That same judge can head the committee also. In a similar manner, we central government, the, the judiciary and uh, state government, we are all together. Today, the Honorable uh, Chief, Chief Minister also mentioned about his government's commitment. I'm happy Delhi, being the national capital of India, cannot afford to have second class judicial infrastructure. I'm happy that we all are together. And I'm so happy to be part of this great function. We will remember for a long time to come that a beautiful, one of the most beautiful court buildings in the country has come up in Delhi. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you very much.